Hi everyone, Rainy here. I came down and worked a little bit on the boat today. Kind of wish I hadn't because it's one of those days I should have stayed upstairs. Things sometimes just don't go your way and today was one of those. But let me show you what I did. It all turned out right after everything's done. So if you remember a couple days ago I glued these 1x3s, the one there on the bottom, together to make a nice long like 18 footer and you can see remember I said I did a butt block I'll show you where that is I butt blocked it right there from here over to there and this is where the seam is I still have to sand them down but it worked out pretty well and I did the other one on the other side as well you can see the butt blocks right there and it goes the whole length and I actually connected it without gluing it yet and I did cut a hole uh, or a notch in my transom for it to fit there. Okay, it's actually going to be a little higher, but the wood's kind of stiff right now. It's going to fit there, and I cut another one on the other side. Problem I had is the transom was too much over here to the left. Uh, I didn't have it measured just right, I guess, when I put it up. And uh, so what I did was I took out my handy dandy Japanese knife and I came over here and I started cutting it off so I, I tried to go with the angle the 10 degree angle of the transom and cut through the uh, oh gosh the Kielsen and instead of cutting at that beautiful angle I cut at this angle and it had a little bit of wood messed up in there so I chiseled out the additional wood and then I had to get my saw and cut it at a 10 degree angle again. And guess what? If you cut this at a 10 degree angle, you have to cut it on the straight. You can't cut it up like this because it makes the angles everywhere. So I figured that out and I sanded it, got that fixed. But then the other problem was down here was too long as well. So I had to cut that down and I just actually get it all measured back and glued and screwed put the glue in I just put a couple of screws which I'm going to take out afterwards so that's finally done so all I got left to do now is to connect this one and these and glue them on and then I can finally start uh, planing everything to make it all nice and smooth I make just for that but I have to wait another day for this to dry but I tell you uh, the measuring and the cutting and <laughs> I think I had every single one of my tools out as you can see I got tools all over the place some of them up here some of them way over there and <laughs> I even got myself a nice little owie those Japanese knives are sharp so there you have it that was my fun I'd like to say no incident but completely incident <laughs> last couple hours so I'm going to go upstairs and relax and put this all behind me and it will be a better day next time. <laughs> now, no, you might be thinking he's looking for sympathy. I'm not looking for sympathy. I'm just looking for cold cash. That'll cheer me up. <laughs> and with that, I look forward to seeing you next time, having the glue dry up and get to do some more work on this. So you have a great day. Bye-bye now.